By understanding sound design, you will unlock a brand new door of possibilities. It will be 10 times easier to turn your ideas into reality. So, let me introduce you to sound design. You know these kick samples from drum kits you find online? Let me show you how easy it is to actually create them yourself. Find the 3 times oscillator plugin. This is a synthesizer that you can use to create sounds completely from scratch. Here you can see 3 oscillators. These will generate sound and with these controls you can choose how they come out. On the first oscillator, turn the coarse pitch all the way down. Then for the second and third oscillator, set the mix knob to zero. A kick is usually a sine wave, so make sure that's selected. Now, on the top left, click the settings icon and go to the wrapper settings. We're gonna use the envelope to make it sound like a kick. First, turn all the knobs down like this and go to the DK control. Increase it just a little bit. Now, it's already starting to sound like a kick. The longer the DK, the longer the kick will be. Next, go to the pitch tab and increase the amount. For the other knobs, do the same as with the volume envelope. Turn everything down and slightly increase the DK. This will create a pitch band or glide, which is exactly what we need. Again, the longer the DK, the longer the pitch band. Next, we're gonna send it to a mixer channel so that we can apply effects. Open up the mixer panel and select the channel one. On the right, we're gonna add an effect called the fruity wave shaper. We can use that to add some distortion. Now, right click to add a point. This will give you more control on which frequencies we want the distortion to be applied. On top of that, I like to add another fruity fast distortion to add more crunch. Simply decrease the threshold and the mix knob. If your kick has an annoying resonance, feel free to add an equalizer and find it by swiping through the spectrum. Once you've found it, simply go to the right and turn it down. And now you know how to create a basic kick from scratch. Sound design trick number two. Layering two or more sounds to create one unique sound that no one has ever used before. Let's say we want to merge these two kicks into one sample. We can put them underneath each other and mess with the gain. But there's a more advanced way that we can do this. Since FL Studio 21, you have these crossfades. Let's Say I like the body of the first kick and the tail of the second one. Well, to merge them, simply drag them into each other. This will automatically create the crossfade. Now the trick is messing with the crossfades. Now it's really important to make sure that the shape of the kick will maintain. Also play around with the gain of both samples as well to match the shapes. Next, we're gonna burn it into one sample. Right click the audio track with the kicks on and choose consolidate tracks. Choose from track start. Now both samples are burned together into one kick sample that you can use in all your projects. That sounds awesome, but I think you're ready for trick number three, creating endless 808s. Let me help you with that. First, open up the sample in the channel rack. Right click it and choose edit in audio editor. Now Edison will open up. On top, click the magnet tool and make sure snap to zero crossing is enabled. Then click the marker and choose set loop. Now we're gonna use these markers for that. Zoom in by simply scrolling your mouse. Then make sure one wave of your sound is selected. We're gonna make this selected part loop endlessly. Next, open up the sample again and drag it inside. This will apply the loop you created to this sample. Now, of course, make sure loop point is enabled. Then go to the volume envelope and drag all the knobs to zero, except for the hold control. If you now play a note, it will play endlessly. This is nice, but we're not done yet. When we release the note, we want it to fade out. And to make that happen, simply increase the release. That sounds amazing. By the way, do you want to learn how I created this astronaut team or perhaps even desk matching teams? Then simply click the video right here.